quick recording I'm making. I saw very unfair this round that I entered. So I'm just recording the person who's coming in and attacking. That's Jen, their leader, who did pet on the wall. That's very young, who's also So we're going to see if they are going to attack. No, I won't start the attack, but if they attack me, then obviously it's a different story. But I'm recording this so that if they try to say, nah, you started on me, then I've got the video out there. And that's why I'm just not recording it, because I'm expecting them to try and attack me since they do have to be able to do it. There's some other players in as well. I haven't really got time to check 10 seconds. Another heaven member. And because loads of the members are in, they may try to go and attack on me. That's very young coming out, I'm sure it was that I can see that. That's Jen, both in them. So that's our beat, I think, as you are just the attack on me. So the question is, will they underestimate me or think that they can take me out if they bend on me? Now if you didn't attack, I wouldn't share because I'm not a nasty player, even though he does like try to PK with Bella. So, um, unfortunately for me, I'm not actually a nasty player. But yeah, not a very smart move. this I will upload it so that if Adam tries to go around saying well you attack me first well here's proof but no I didn't and then I'm currently in rounds with players who did playing war on me you don't see me starting an attack do you only a nasty player would start an attack when they haven't actually done anything you know what I mean I'll let them Careful. You keep doing that.
guess it's five dollars now. Now I'll say that. Now I lose that one. The swinging attack. Probably Jim. Can you two stop scrapping? Because if you start flicking damage on me, I will fight back. Because I'm not getting kicked out because I let somebody take my HP down. Give in anybody else that won't like me the opportunity to jump on me and kick me ass. I've had that happen before. That's all about doing something like that. Server is like an hour behind on everything because the times change, but they haven't changed, <coughs> changed on the server. So, uh, yeah, that means everything that happens at 11 happens at 12, everything that happens at 8 happens at 9. So, yeah, you've got to keep that in mind. So, if you want to go in the event at 3 o'clock, that'll be 4 o'clock. Like, chaos at 3, no, it's chaos at 4. Stay for some more videos. I'm uploading some videos about the new skill I got from the Great Treasure. Well, the Great Treasure is still on that. Still pretty weak, but it actually does do quite a few hits, which is quite nice. And some decent damage. Not the best damage, but decent, you know what I mean? I'm sorry it's about the equivalent of half the total damage of what you would like. Probably half or just over half or just under half. The total damage of a normal special, so it's like doing a special in the half at the moment. Now, he didn't start off in the right class that I would have liked or preferred. I do need to change my view because it always messes up. I don't like lock on views, I like the freedom of being able to change my channel view accurately. One day, one is. He's only got. To... Okay, okay. Go on. I've only got two chances, I mean, yeah, I think I've got only two chances.
I don't want to chew too quick off those. I could pair up with him again, and I don't want to have to kick him out when he's yeah, got much chances left. I've got two chances. Well, my last chance I have to kill, but I have to be careful who I get paired up with for the last chance. Um, I'll give him a few seconds. And then I'll go on John Sang Chu and have to kick him out. The problem is I've lost time with a chance instead of kicking out, which would be sad. Hopefully we don't pair up against him. In the pair, I can't afford to throw another chance away. And I only have one chance left in case I get paired up against someone like Shinab or Saku or any of those ones that have the advantage on me with. The base the only ones that I've got before can prove to be a big challenge. If they've got a um, Heaven Sword or Dragon Slayer. Because I don't have E for one of them, so I do have to be careful. Although I do wish it wasn't in a board that likes and encourages the who can be. We would be better off if he left the balls behind, you know what I mean? He kept his distance from them and got more help and support that way. Because unfortunately, there are some nice players within the Warriors but It's just their leader doesn't do a very good job of trying to keep the build balanced and fair. So if a strong player. <coughs> Giant Smart's build and decides they want to go around PK. Smart will have no problem with it, he won't say anything about it because he favours power. Whereas me, I don't play like that. It doesn't matter if you're the strongest player in the game. If you're in my guild, you don't go around PK for no reason. Unless there's a damn good reason behind it, you just don't do it. Otherwise, get packing. That's the way I play. My guild is a peace guild. I'm not growing my guild and recruiting members just yet because there's just too much I need to do on my own character and the more you have to work on other characters, the other players, members, the less time you've got to do the stuff you need to. However, I do need to contact Kenny. He does want to unlock his uh, expert Exeglade that I do have. Now, I believe I've got all the pages from my last topic for him to unlock it. So I'll give him all of my executions, page break, and then type that. Press that. Go check. How many pages do I have? Oh god, will it tell me? It will, won't it? 83 unbound. I sent him, I believe... Did I send him 69 or 20 something? I can't remember. But I sent him quite a bit before, so this will bring him up to at least 100 with what I've already sent him. So, he's either going to be 50 off or I sent him 60 off before, and that means he should be able to unlock. If we can't unlock with this, he won't be that far behind because he only needs 150. So if I give him 89 pages, that'll cover it. All I need to do on top of that is keep my server up because I don't want to run out too much on server. <coughs> my 3 mil, 835 case, I do want to bring that back up to 5 mil. Will take a little bit of time, but I'll slowly get there. Not only that, if I can try to keep my character to a point where I have a minimum of 5 mil at all times, or basically at all times. When somebody throws stuff in at lowest price, there are like loads of them that you normally can't afford because there's too many pages in and you don't have enough money. At least I'll have enough money to be able to buy them and then give them to different guild members who need them.
one chance. I took out too much damage without charging up my special or anything properly, or being in the right class. So he was able to tank my attacks and go on the attack. Now it's my last chance, so I have to win this. So this time I'm going to make sure my character is set up properly. Dun, 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 dun. Set up, ready for defensive. Wasn't ready a point. I wasn't actually fighting for that last five seconds, but nice. Thank you, you there. Okay, ready. Let's see if I can make throne this week. No, my look around the pad like a bit shiny or something. Now. No opponent. Yeah, man. Here we go. Right. Get my camera set up so I don't get bugged up by my camera. So I can see. I'll see you up against. Wow. Yeah. I can't give away a chance now because. I have no chance of that, just a bad situation to be in. Oh, bell started. Oh, I don't have any hot ones, there's I didn't think I'd make it this week then. Whew. Yeah. 
Friends getting pretty intense. Some stuff I could do for EXP, but I've already got loads of EXP built up on my great treasure, so I don't really need to worry about that since it's going to take ages to get out of those materials that I need to upgrade the great treasure. Oh, I need it for 100! Oh my god! Because I'm basically saying to make sure I design a decent battle line that I want to take away from the event. Probably talking about 70. Couldn't tell me I'm going to try and get enough together, but if I don't start saving, I'm never going to get there, am I? Oh, of course, I can wait for the update to come out and get them for free, but. Later, have it! I basically mean for the those that are higher than me on the game. I might, but it really will start the time. So I'll have an advantage of being able to get more stuff. Put any further behind. when we reach that to 136. Sure I did. Maxed it today. There we go. Yeah, maxed it. 
We don't need internals now, we've finally finished on that. What we do need is a martial arts, so we can upgrade Blood Moon and Anti Okay, what's next? Um, go, go, go. We don't need to cast all of the magic. Oh, where is the cast? I think I've got loads of them down there. Alright. Cast the color team, yeah, I've got over a thousand of them down there. We definitely don't have to keep them now. Get rid of that. Now, I can have all of my purples gone. I'm going to keep them as a two because they're only like Eco 7, but you never know. An update may come out where you can uh, upgrade or max school classes and internals that you were not originally a member of, you know what I mean? So, the Ming and Ling and Tang, in my case, or Royal Guard, is on Ruby. But that update hasn't come out yet, but it could do, so we are going to keep those. That's why I haven't been getting rid of those level 2. The school class ones aren't a problem, I've got quite a few there. Well, 100 on down there, and obviously you get loads of them through um, daily gameplay when it's the school classes of internal level 1 and 2. So we'll just get rid of that. Keep that, keep that. Get rid of that. Very easy to get. At least for me. Gambler's max, isn't it? Let me just double check, but I think Gambler is max. We think. I don't need to get rid of. I mean, I don't need to keep them doing it. max. So I can get rid of them. Oops, not there. That's Gambler. Unbound, we'll keep that, we'll get rid of the bound. And yeah, that's that. And I think that's it for today. The only thing left to really do that could give me an upgrade if um, I have enough is this, this, this. We'll just put these up to higher grades to see if we have enough. I tried ones. No, not enough on them. We need about level 9. Not enough on them. Not enough on them. That done and out the way. That's about it. Oh, I actually, there's some unlocking I can do that I haven't done. Now I'll use that just for fun. <laughs> okay. First, we're going to go here, Annie Monk Go. No set. What's that mean? I've lost my own or something. Don't know why it said that then, requirement not met. That's my own. Right. Can I do some repairs? To repair the two that I do the most, which is horse and beast. There we go. 
Then what I also want to do is check when my um as my home reached my home has reached zero, hasn't it? Yes, okay. That's that. Da -da 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 -da. How long do I have before that I would be deleted? I don't know, but I'm going to repair it just in case to reset it. That's the home. Repair that. And now I know I've got at least a month before my home could be deleted. Next, I want to do this because I haven't claimed it for today. I did yesterday this one today, but I didn't claim it this one today. Now we're going to go here. Claim that. And now I'll exit. Because we don't need to run around the place. We've already got the rewards. Why waste time? Now we're going to go back in. We're going to go to the horse one now. Wait, did I just do this one? No, I didn't. There we go, that's nice. And then we'll exit. And now, we'll go and complete the home quest. Since I've got a load of uh, unbanned gold, I mean banned gold, I might just use it on um, upgrading my home. <coughs> Depends on how much material I've got, actually. I don't have much wood, I'm quite short on that. But I think I will actually go for... No, I can't. I need more wood before I can upgrade this anyways. So I will go and complete home quest for a few more days, build up on the wood, and then we can do some upgrades. I'll bring them up to a new level, level 4. Which I used to have before, and then I forgot to upgrade because I was off game for a bit, and then uh, yeah, it downgraded our level to level one, and I had to work all the way back up to level three again. Great. Do you have to take all day about it? That's better. So we'll end this video here, I guess, to do with rounds and throne and what else is this video about? Our uh, Adam X trying to keep me out of round, which is located as his might. So you can see who it was that tried to keep me out of round. I'm coming here that far on the list, is it? Oh, he is. Maybe we'll check after. Oh, for fuck's sake. This guy, Mr. Bonnie, trying to keep me out of rooms. How rude. And he's got that to find as well. I wish I had that. That's handy. Gives you death free as well, that one does. So, uh, yeah, we'll end this video here. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.